All right, guys, how are we doing? Um, got a Ford Transit seat belt here. It's jammed itself up twice now. Um, this mechanism right here jammed itself up. Um, if you don't know how one of these works, I thought I'd show it while I've got one apart. Um, basically, you've got your seatbelt here that pulls in and out. You all know how that works. Um, but in here, you've got a tooth sprocket on the outside. And you've got this ball down here. So that ball, this purple piece of plastic, and this yellow piece of plastic. So the yellow piece of plastic locks into these teeth, as you can see it is there. You can see that's nice and locked in because the seat is in this orientation. So when the seat's in this orientation, that will always be locked and the seat belt won't move because this ball is affected by inertia and gravity. It moves around in the eye and it's supposed to. So you see this purple tab here, this tab pushes up on the yellow part, which allows it to engage. So when your seat belt normally spools, you know, sometimes it gets, it gets caught. It's this mechanism here that controls that. So basically what happens is the ball bearing pushes up on the piece of purple plastic at the top and that makes the yellow bit engage. So if your seatbelt jams on, it's probably this that's causing the problem. So here we go, normal operation. Unspools, winds back in, as it should. And if you yank, it locks. See how that's locked? Let go and see how it comes back off. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, this is one in the Ford Transit. I mean, years ago they used to be made out of metal. Now they're made out of plastic. It's only your life. I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.